Right, big shout out to Gobs. You shit. We all know it. <laughs> <laughs> Literally wrote in chat, nine fingers, you suck. We all know I'm amazing, so don't be stupid. <laughs> Rose are doing a big B push. Interesting. So Rose again have got three. I thought they had four, but that's Pikes. They've got three muskets straight off the bat. Got five moles. Couple of short swords of Glaive as well. Glaive's actually been pretty good in Zerg battles because if, if he's got God of Battles, which I'm assuming he's gonna have, that's like everything gets a massive boost to damage. Um Banish look like they've got the exact yeah, Banish have got the exact same setup up by the look of it. Dasu doing me as well, wow. <laughs> I believe they're doing me like this, Drayton. Like, what have I ever been rude to any of these? <laughs> oh, come on. Don't do it like this game. Uh, no comment, by the way. No comment, by the way. Uh, so, Banish all started at A. They've seen instantly, though, that Rose have started with everything over on the B side. Or, like, not everything, but the majority of stuff. Uh, Rose have got four guys over here with cavalry. Ah, Outriders, okay. Alright, yeah. I reckon what they've done is they've pushed everything over to the B side so they can get their gate down quick. And so that they basically can, relatively unmolested, get down the breach on the A side. Um, yeah. Banish are doing the right thing. They're not overreacting to anything. They're they're actually rotating pretty quick, to be fair. Obviously, they have the shorter, the shorter distance. And it looks like Rose have just abandoned their units over here and they're just going to get new ones out. So it's, what's the units Forbes got? So Daddy Forbes is pushing out. I don't think he's got his unit. Oh, he's got Keshigs. He doesn't actually have his units with him though. If he took his units here, he'd potentially do a lot of damage. Yeah, if he'd have had his Keshigs with him, he could have retreating. Yeah, he could have wrecked this over here. He doesn't have his unit with him though. That would have been a lot of free kills. That would have been painful for Rose as well. But I think he's yeah he's gonna get the resupply. So the Rose push is coming, they've got the Breach down, they have the Gate. The Gate will be down in a couple of seconds, they're working on that now. I like the fact that Banished are a bit closer to the A point as well, than say like on, on Odin's Legion. Daddy Forbes has just moved his units out as well. Question is, they're going to be able to be in a position to actually stop them if, when they push. 15 Trebs still on the field. What are they waiting for? B's wide open though. I suppose Forbes will see anything in the back lines there if anything does get pushed. I'm going to try keeping the angle so I can see what Forbes does because if he pushes at the right time, he could actually do massive work, man. So the push is coming now. A side gate, breach. Not so much, they've all gone gate. Wow, okay. That treb's probably gonna hit nothing, but they've done it just to get the stuff off the point, I think. So when they do push in, that would have been funny if Bjorn would have died there. Right, Rose have got Outriders out. Bob's just in the back line, so they have to constantly think about him. This is similar to what um, what Blaine Milius did to uh, that trip just Odin's isn't Legion. Land with the damage needed. Nah, it's gonna hit a lot of the fences. Bob's just got rid of like a unit of uh, outriders out here, or at least half of it for free. Mm. Um, what are they waiting for? Looks like they're pushing now. Yeah, they're pushing like that. Defenders are pushing. Yeah, to, to take out this blob here. The attackers are going to uh, through on the back lines, though, through the breach. They're going to have the best of it over there. Ooh, that treb. Yeah, that was a big trip. But the defenders are winning this fight by the looks of it. Fobbs is in the background. Is he just going to get the resupply or is he actually going to come in through the back? If Fobbs would have come through the back there, they'd have wiped completely that push there. I can't help but feel like that was a misplay. Like, cause look at all, look at these six heroes as well, though. Oh, they're gonna be in trouble. 
Or is Fobs gonna go for him now? Fobs is gonna go for him now. The caps, they'll have time to get yeah. this out. Yeah. But look, look, it's hero versus hero. Um, yeah. And it's uh, really showing their class here. You got Damian and Forbes in the outlet. I'm trying to see what's going on out there as well. The Rose are getting the cap off as well. Damian and Forbes. Yeah, A's lost. Have Banish seen it though to pull back already? Or they seem to be. Bondit spawned on the B side as well. Yeah, he'll cut Forbes off. So Forbes is now stuck outside. Uh, so is Damian as well. They need to get stuck in. Like they can't just sit here and do nothing. That was a misplay, man. I reckon, honestly, their Forbes should have just gone straight in behind them. He would have killed like the, the 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 main Zerg. Like the rest of it, when it come back in, he would have got rid of all of that. He might have been shadowed. Someone may be shadowing him, but prevented him from going. But like when I looked, he, he was he was outside on his own. Like there was there was nothing there, and he would have been able to get in behind him. Forbes got a kill. Yeah. And uh, Damian at the back here from the defenders as well is in a fight now with two or three enemy heroes. Fobs down here against one guy. Pike against Polak, though. I say that Fobs has got his Keshigs out, so he might still do work. So A and B is lost. Banished, uh, just going to set up on the end point. That's the normal play, let's be real. So Damian's just died. Fobs is still back here, being just a massive pain in the ass. He's got no more units, though, or does he? I think that is okay. Yeah, those yeah. are his Keshigs, yeah. Is that Pike Militia or something? Ah, the Keshigs. That is Pike Militia. Yeah, oh my god, Hawk's got Pike Militia. So Fob's just been a pain, basically. Them two being back here to just kill him. I mean, he's going to be dead and respawned up there before they get halfway across the map, probably. Uh, but it looks at the same thing again. <laughs> oh no, wait, they're going to get C off. They're going to get C off and then the, the dock, so the, the, the Berserkers are actually going to go to the end point. Right, so let's have a look at units quick. So the defenders have lost 404, the attackers 280. Units left is still more for the defenders as well, which means they've got more trash out. Forbes is now dead, right. A tread's just being called in, that's going to hit nothing? Wait. Oh, they've seen it anyway, that's... I think it's he wanted that a little bit higher. Cool. I think it, I think it got caught on the floor, yeah. And you, it, it would it. it would have either hit in here or like hit in the back on the house or something. Right, let's have a look. So FDS light ho ho here. I try to get rid of the musket. The muskets managed to bail. Oh, that Trevor. They seen it. They're gonna lose Kesha oh, for free. On. They've yep, not they seen will. it. Oof. Whose units that? Defenders Kesha negative. negative PB. That's unfortunate. Yeah. They only lost two, I think, so it's not the end of the world. Nah. Obviously, Negative wouldn't have seen the, the Trebs come in, and apparently there was no comms saying there's a Treb coming, so... I mean, it's not it's not the end of the world. Ooh, what's up here? Oh, they're retreating through it as well. Is that Namcans? It's just Namcans, yeah. Okay. I mean, I suppose if there's like a long engagement going on, they could actually do some work. But it wouldn't have been the pick I would have made. So it looks like Banished are going to get through this northern side here. Uh, Banished, Rose even, what am I on about? The western side, East Banished are outnumbered there. Right, this tree's in the way, I'm going to go above here like this. There's still seven Trebs up as well. Yeah, so rows are pushing simultaneously from everywhere. Rows are leaving units in reserve. Yeah. To counter the Keshigs when they come. Now the Madal move, yep. And just completely block the gaps. Yeah. The Madal here, weren't it? Like right next yep. to the, the, the point. Yeah, they did work there, man. The western side looks like it's been stopped by Banished for now. Banished are getting reinforcements, so obviously that's the, the benefit you have as defender. You're really close to the, the fight. Banished are down one hero. Unit wise, it's still the same. That could be a really good treb. Yeah, held up a couple of Keshigs, didn't we? Yeah, it there's so many a full of ratio, this should be okay to deal with this. Yeah, good brace. Yeah, on the Modao, yeah. That was yeah. a good, good Modao brace. Khan is coming in with Keshigs. Yeah. He's trying to get around the back. Oh, he got countered though. He did. And, oh, big wipe. Yeah. Banish just lost quite a few players there. 
both teams. Both teams did. Yeah. So this we're on 10 and 11. This is Who's really got, close, man. Longer death timers. It's, I think there's too many Madao on point, to be honest. Yeah. For, for Blues. So Blues have got, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of Madao up. <laughs> Another Treb coming in. That's going to stop the defending Madao coming down the hill. Not, yeah, nothing wow. really landed. This is that this one is did. Good brawl. Yeah, this is scrappy as hell, man. Now they've got four Brachios up. Oh, okay. I think the blue wipe is about to happen. Yeah, two, three. Yeah, four. because the defenders have just got the shorter route so they can get in quicker. That's a good treb. Five. That's, that is a good treb. 14v10. Like... Yeah. The defenders have got a lot more units up as well. If they can clear this, it's these four Brachios from the attackers that are being a problem. 14v8. Is... Defenders this... are dying. Yeah. Yeah, I was the other way around. Yeah, it was the... Oh, shut up. I was confused as hell then. It's this blue and red thing. It makes no sense to me. Defenders should be blue and attackers should be red. We all know it. I think that there's is... personal bias involved there. Yeah. No, it's just... I don't know. It makes sense that blue would be a defending and red would be an attacking. That was a good fight still, though, man. So that was the second round. Rose won both. GG. Both sides. Really yeah. good effort. Yeah. Forbes and Damian did work, man. They were both uh, top of the team. They were the ones that were outside as well. I can't help... I need, uh, I need to watch the, the VOD back because I might be being unfair, a little bit unfairy to Forbes. But I think if he would have gone in behind them, if he could have, that's, that's the caveat. If he could have actually got in behind them, I think he might have been able to stop the A push like early on. Um, because he could have, like, he was sat here, and I, I can't remember if he was going over this bridge or not, and there was, like, there was just, everything was inside, and he was...